Hello guys, welcome back once again. Been gone for a while, but now I'm back and we're going to get a video every day. So, one of the exciting front frying news for people who love the old 16-bit Mega Drive slash Genesis consoles. Uh, basically, uh, Kritz as I call them, K-I-R-K-I-R-K-I-R-K-Z-Z, I don't know why I just completely screwed up that spelling, it's horrible. Uh, who obviously have been known for the creators of the Mega EverDrive and of course the EverDrive MD flash cartridges have now a new addition for you to buy, especially for the term of programming a cartridge. Because they come out with the flash kit ND, and this flash kit ND is basically uh, an alternative to uh, SD card enabled devices, basically. Um, it just allows you to program uh, a single game. ROM onto a cartridge. That's basically what it does. Uh, it allows you to make a game and put it on a cartridge for either to play it yourself or maybe you like to sell it to other people or give it away or whatever. So obviously this is aimed more at the, the homebrew community indie scene, uh, people making games for this console. Uh, and again, it, it is very, for people who want a very small budget, the fact that to get this is basically only a cost you $58. And because this is basically written uh, in Windows C, they've implied that you can also, would technically be able to use this on Mac and Linux, though you'd have to run uh, a certain thing on it, but they have yet to test it out, so in theory it would work. And of course it is, uh, uh, this is also a solution for us gamers. If you're somebody who who doesn't want to play ROM on your computer or on a the, the soft emulation, if you want to have to have a cartridge and you want to plug in the system, this is obviously something you can do. Now for people who, for example, do get this, the actual flash cartridges that would basically, uh, uh, programmable cartridges are only $9 a piece, but this kit itself is $58. So, uh, again, you can, you can uh, basically upload to ROMs to this flash card up to four megabit. So this would enable you to try ROMs and also make your own. Uh, you're wondering how this connect the cartridge connects to your computer connects to USB. Uh, simple, easy to use. Obviously, everybody has USB these days. Uh, again, this is for people who would like to try maybe their hand in programming or, or people who just want the ROM on a cartridge. If you're those people who like those kind of things, this is definitely real. Again, it's cool that they're doing this. I think in, in the whole brew community is only getting bigger because all these things come out. That these only make it easier for people who want to make games who want to, you know, maybe they make a game they're proud of and they want to release it for other people to try and play with, or, you know, they want it in a physical cartridge because that's what they played on. This is a cool thing to do. What they've, again, the best thing about this, a very low amount of money to buy it. This is, I think, one of the problems we have when you get to retro consoles being brought out by other people these days. You know, the, the quote-unquote third-party or homebrew console, clone consoles are really expensive. This is obviously... A very cheap thing for anybody who just wants to toy around with it. Fifteen dollars is a very reasonable amount of money. They're not asking for a lot. So, what do you think about their Mega Drive cartridge kit for basically uh, for for you flash kit for you to make your own ROMs or load up ROMs to it and put it on a cartridge? Would you get one of these? Do you think it's really cool, or are you just a person that only wants to play official games and nothing else? For me, I think this is cool. I think you know if I ever wanted to play ROMs or have them on a cartridge. This would definitely have been an alternative for me, where other things in the past I talk about like they're cool, but I wouldn't buy it. This would definitely, at that budget, would be definitely something I would think about. Anyway, guys, love to hear you guys' opinions like always, and I will put up another video soon.